time and time again, I always hear the same advice. If you want to get good at fighting games, you have to hit the training mode. Let's not get this twisted. Booting up training mode is definitely the best way to learn a fighting game. But for some people, it can just straight up feel like a chore at times. Practice your combo drills, make sure you get those anti-airs down. For some players, training mode can seem like an obstacle. I mean, why spend all of your time there when you can get some real world experience and play with the big boys? For the longest time, I was that guy. I avoided training mode. I would just play matches until finally I understood what was happening in the game. However, this brute force attitude I developed made me extremely frustrated later on. I would easily burn out. It got so bad I even questioned if I liked fighting games. So after taking a break, I decided to look at the problem from a different approach. How can I practice to get better at fighting games while still playing plenty of matches? The answer was three simple letters. Q and A. Question and answer is a super common form of learning. And using this system, I was able to break down several problems I've had in fighting games. There's three main steps to Q and A. Here's how it works. Step one is to identify problems. Let's say you played a bunch of matches like you normally would. And during those matches, you can identify some issues or problems in your gameplay. Let's say, for example, you get anti-aired all the time. This is a problem. Now that we've identified our problem, we can now move on to step two, the question. You have your problem identified. You're jumping a lot and you're getting anti-aired constantly. Now what we want to do is phrase this problem as a question. A good starting point for a question would be using who, what, how, or why. Once you've developed your question, you can simply hit up training mode and start searching for answers. Question and answer. Now, to most people, this is just problem solving 101, nothing super revolutionary. But when you're constantly phrasing your problems as questions, you develop a reason to hop in the lab. Sure, you can do some combo drills to practice execution, but now you have a fantastic way to set goals for yourself while in training mode. Now, when you hit the lab, you have a reason, which makes it way more productive and way more engaging. With this system in mind, I've been able to keep a 70-30 split between playing matches against others and practicing in training mode. Now, with that in mind, let's take a deeper dive into the Q&A system, starting with the Q. Question. Identifying problems in your gameplay is the first step. Feel free to write stuff down after some matches or even watch some old replays and break down what you did wrong. If you're having trouble breaking down your gameplay, a good starting point would be to simply pause and observe whenever you got hit during the match. Another way to analyze your games is to send your replay to someone else. If they're familiar with the game, they could provide that outside opinion that can shed some light on things you might have overlooked. Now that we've identified a few problems with their gameplay, let's phrase them as questions. When you do this, I find it makes approaching the problem a lot easier. For example, if your problem is that you jump too much, just simply saying, oh, stop jumping may not help you in the long run. However, when we phrase it as a question, it becomes approachable. We go from simply stop jumping to why am I jumping? You get to the root of the problem quicker. And as a result, you spend less time bashing your head against the wall, trying to figure out how to approach your opponent. Simply put, Questions are like little puzzles that you get to solve in the training mode. Over time, you might get the idea to ask the bigger questions, like how can I beat this particular character? For those bigger questions, you wanna break them down into smaller ones. If the big question is how do I deal with X character, go ahead and play some matches against that character. After a bunch of matches, you'll probably identify some smaller problems. Now, you can simply phrase them as questions. Over time, these smaller questions contribute to the big ones, making a question like, how do I deal with a matchup way more manageable? Bonus tip. Now, naturally, you probably have a lot of questions piling up, especially if you're new to a game, which is why first and foremost, I suggest keeping track of them. It could be something simple like a file on your notepad or Google Docs. How crazy you wanna go is completely up to you, but don't turn this into a homework assignment. That's what we're trying to avoid. Answer. Identifying a problem is the first step. Phrasing it as a question is the second step. Answering the question is the third, and oftentimes the hardest part. Look, I'm gonna level with you guys. This part can get tedious, and sometimes it'll take a while depending on the question. This is why you should use every resource available to you. There are plenty of people that are smarter than you and I that might have answered your question already. You can check out wikis, YouTube videos, ask some players at your locals, and if you're brave, 
hit up the Discord. Good luck if you do. Uh, hey, sorry to bother you, but uh, did you see a mouse run through here by chance? I don't know. At this point, it's time to hop into training mode and apply what you've learned. After a bit of practice, you'll be ready if the situation pops up again. Remember to use training mode as a tool. Come in with a problem, leave with a solution. Outside of basic things like combo drills, this is the primary way that I use training mode. Now I hope the next time you boot up your favorite fighting game, you don't feel as overwhelmed as you did before. Remember guys, we're here to have fun. Don't ruin that by listening to knuckleheads telling you to practice three hours a day, making sure you never drop a combo. Just boot up and get your butt kicked, or do the kicking, up to you.